Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a video that's actually been referred to me on both of my channels. I have a planning channel and I have a reading channel. So I am uploading this video to both to satisfy one video for two channels. But this video is going to be all about how I use Notion for my planning. So like I said, I have a planning channel and I have a reading channel and my Notion, I'm able to capture both of those in one dashboard and it's really helped me and what i also really do like about notion is i can have it on my laptop and then there's also a notion app which i don't know if you can see you can but it is a app that allows me to on the fly while i'm you know in the town or at work i'm able to update my notion right there so i have notion on my phone i have notion on my tablet and then i also have notion on my laptop so if you would like to see what i have on my notion and kind of what pages and how my dashboard is set up then go ahead and keep watching all right we are going to really quickly jump over to my laptop so that way you can kind of do a screen share and see everything that i have on my notion okay guys so this is my dashboard for my notion this is something i update every single month and it is always up on my desktop always open able to update as the day goes on for the entire month so every month I will update a dashboard cover. Usually it's tied somewhat to the month that we are in. I also update the icon and obviously February is Valentine's Day. So it's very much a hearts and roses type theme along with pink and red for a lot of my headers. I update the month and year, obviously. And then the top part of my page is the table of contents. All of these are linked down below and then there could be some that are linked directly to other pages within my notion. So we have my table of contents. We also have my 2024 goals. I do have a planning channel along with a reading channel. So these are a mixture of both of my goals. I only have five. So I have for reading, I want my physical TBR to be less than 25% of unread books. I want to read a total of 120 books in 2024. I want to lose 20 pounds. And then my planning channel, I would like my subscriber count to get up to 3,000. And then I would like my reading channel subscriber count to get up to 500. So those are just an overview, quick top level of my dashboard. And then we start diving into my to-do list along with all of my specific reading and planning content. The first section is my monthly to-do list. So I have for a personal column, I want to update my notion for the month of February, which I have already done. We have for my planning channel, I want to plan all of my videos for the month. I have not finished that. I do have some videos or some days that I need to upload that I do not have a video topic yet. So I do need to do that along with scheduling tips for the month on Instagram. If you would be interested in other planning type content, you can follow me on Instagram. I will make sure I have it on the screen. And then I also have on my Heidi's reading channel, I also have a Instagram page where I put other reading tips on that page. And if you would be interested in reading tips and other reading content, I will put the link for Instagram on the screen as well. And then along with the reading, I do want to plan all of my upcoming videos for the month. I believe I am still missing a few topics. So that has not been checked off. I also have a bookshelf page over here, which I will get to in a minute. And I want to update the bookshelf with all of my new book purchases. I do this at the end of the month. So that way I don't have to continuously go through and update my bookshelf. I'll do it in one, one fell swoop at the end of the month. And then I also want to update my bookshelf with all of the books that I did read for the month of February or whatever the month is at the time. 
I also have at the end of every section a back to top. So as soon as I click on it, it will take me back to my table of contents for easy kind of clicking and maneuvering around. So after my monthly to-do list, we do have a weekly to-do list. And this is a daily to-do list, obviously, of everything that I want to do for my reading channel, my planning channel, and my personal life. I do need to water my plants because I did not do that on Monday. But so far, today is Wednesday, and I have updated some of these things. I just have not checked them off. The next section is books purchases. So this is where I will keep track of all of the books that I have purchased during the month. And then I also have, if I do any pre-orders, I will list the pre-order as well. That way it's just easy for me to know I already have bought this book, so I don't try to go out and buy it again before this pre-order is delivered. And then we have my monthly TBR. Right now it's showing all of the ones for January and February. And that's only because I wanted to, I was working on my February TBR just recently. And I just haven't had a chance to hide it. But what I'll end up doing is today is January the 31st. So tomorrow I will go and change this filter to take off January and I will only see February. But on my monthly TBR, I do have the book that I want to read, how I read it, whether it was Kindle, physical book, or audiobook, my status, whether it was I've completed it, I haven't started it, or if I'm in progress. We have the star rating that I gave it from one to five stars, and then I also have a DNF, so did not finish, along with did not score, the author, the day that I finished the book, the month that I finished the book, and also just a two little two two sentence or less statement of how I felt about that book for like book review purposes. I do have also if we click on any of these pages, you can click open and it'll have kind of just what that book is. So I do, I do have the link to Goodreads if I would like to go directly to Goodreads and update a review there. I have the link. In addition, I have a, cup, a picture of the cover, and then down below I have any notes that I kind of had while I was reading it, along with if I had any key takeaways, quotes, or a summary. I just threw everything in notes when I was reading this book, so I don't have anything in those other sections. But every book has a section for notes, key takeaways, quotes, and summary. And then we have... YouTube videos for the month. This is linked to my YouTube content calendar, but this, I have two views for this little section. We have a this week, which basically just lets me know what I need to record for the coming week, whether it's for my planning channel, my reading channel, the day that it's supposed to upload, the title, whether I think it's a main channel video, a how-to video, or a popular video. We also have the status, whether I'm in the brainstorming stage, whether I'm currently recording like I am now for Notion, whether I have recorded it, whether I'm in the process of editing it, if I've edited it, and if I have uploaded it. Once I click upload, the line or that video will disappear from this view because I have a filter that it's only going to show status of not uploaded. So that way it really gives me an idea of what I need to work on for that month. And then we also have notes. And then I also have on the same section, I have a this month. So right now it's January the 31st and nothing is being uploaded today. All of my videos are going to be uploaded in February. So it's not going to show anything. But if I filter and change from this month to next month, it will show all of the videos that I currently have identified that I want to do. And if there's any blank ones, that means that's where I said I needed to, on my to-do list, I need to plan my upcoming, upcoming videos for the month and for, um, for Heidi's planning and Heidi's reading. And it's so that way I can fill in these blank spots. So I know I have missing content that I need to plan out. We're going to go and change that to this month so that way it's all good to go and change it to this week. So that is my YouTube videos planning 
section of my dashboard. And then the last section of this dashboard is my social media content ideas. So I have a section for YouTube and then I have a section for TikTok and Instagram. I do plan on breaking these out to a YouTube planning and YouTube reading column because the majority of these are reading content ideas. If you do leave me a comment in any of my videos, I do add it to this section so that way if during the month I have those blank days or those blank titles in a specific upload, that's where I'll pull from. So that is where this is. And then that's going to be it for my main dashboard. There are a couple other pages that I do have, but I don't keep them on my dashboard because I do not need them every single day. It's usually a once a month type thing. So I have my 2024 reading log, and this is a gallery view of all of the months. I do have my goals here so I can check off when I've done something. So I want to read 120 books. I have some specific classics and specific biographies that I want to read. So as the year goes on, if I do read any of those books or meet that 120 book goal, I will go here and check that off. I also have a list of the 24 books that I want to read in 2024. So as soon as I read the books, I check them off. We have a new releases, and this is a uh, basically just a list by month of all of the books that I would like to buy. I have already checked off some because I have pre-ordered them, so I don't need them there. But this is just a way for me to keep track of all of the new books that I want to read or potentially purchase. And then we have all of the months of the year. This is where I will list my books that I was planning to read on my monthly TBR and then I will check them off as I read them. And then the last page that I want to talk about is my bookshelf. And this is a for my physical TBR. So my goal is to re, have my bookshelf be less than 25% of my books that I currently have in my possession are left unread. So right now I have 214 physical books on my bookshelf right now and I have unread 47%. So I need to read, I want this number to be less than 20, 25% or less. So this is where every month at the end of the month, I will go in and I will add, if there's any new books that I bought during the month, I will go down to the very bottom. I will add a new section or a new book title. And then if I have during the month read books, at the end of that month, I will go in and check off all of the books that I have read. So that way I have a running active list of all of the books that I have read or have not read on my physical TBR. And these are also sorted by genre. That's because my bookshelf is sorted by genre. <laughs> so this way it's easier for me to know that in my mystery thriller, I can, like I can do a filter. So if I really want a mystery thriller book, I know I have four books in my mystery thriller section of my bookshelf that I need to read. And that is my bookshelf. So like I said, this dashboard is always open on my laptop. It is also a app that I keep on my main page of my iPhone. So that is my notion. Let's jump back and finish out the video. So that is my notion. Like I said, I have the app and I will say I go to this app so many times during the month just so that way I can make sure I'm keeping up to date on everything I need to do. I am one of those people that I like to be able to check things off. I will make a list specifically so I can check it off. That is me. So that is my notion. I will say it did take me several tries to try and get it set up the way that I like it. I did attempt, Notion does have a lot of free templates and I also have the free, I don't have any kind of like subscription to Notion. I know you can have like there's an AI built into that which you have to pay for but 
I do not have a subscription. I 100% use the free version and it has definitely taken me a lot of times to try to, to get this dashboard and all of these pages where I like them. There were a lot of trial and error where I would look at other templates and pull them in and then try to modify them and it just never worked out the way that I liked it. So it's definitely something that you have to kind of play around with and get used to because there is so much customization. But if you're looking for something that you could do or something that you could use to help you with your planning for your, you know, Hobonichi cousin, your common planner, your everyday planner, whatever planner you have, this could be beneficial for you just to keep track of all of your to-do lists or, you know, making sure that you're doing your journal entries in the morning. If you have a habit tracker, you want to make sure that you're updating. Notion can kind of be another outlet to help you keep track of those things. In addition, if you're like me and you're a big reader and you want to keep track of all of the books that you've read, your bookshelf, kind of what you have still to read on your bookshelf. I also use this a lot when I'm in the bookstore and I cannot remember for the life of me if I have a physical book in my possession. Um, there has been instances where I want to get a book, but I'm on the fence whether I have it already or if I don't, I will use Notion and look at my bookshelf and that way I'll be able to see immediately if I have that book by doing a search on my bookshelf. So it is, I have so much, I have liked my Notion so much this year. Last year I didn't have it and I kind of struggled a little bit with planning videos and trying to figure out what I need to do and my to-do list and all of that kind of stuff. It kind of fell off, but so far, in 2024, I have been using Notion, Notion and all I've had is like a great experience and I think it's really enhanced my planning and my reading. So with that, thank you so much for watching. If you use Notion, drop me a message down below and let me know how you use it. Is there a template that you used that you're you know, using flat out or did you have a template that you created? and modified for your purposes? Do you have a dashboard? Like, what are you using Notion for? I'm really interested because, like I said, I use it just for my planning and my reading, but I know there's so many different ways that you can use Notion. I would be really interested to see what you do, and maybe I might think that it's something that I might be able to do as well. So, with that, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.